Welcome, and thank you for taking a few minutes to see just how simple it is to complete your ACA 1095 filings using the Atrix 1095 Prepare and Complete eFile service. When you open the software, you'll see that you have the opportunity to file your ACAs, W-2s, or any 1099. We'll select the 1095-1094-C for our demonstration purposes. You'll select the company that you're going to file for. If you've already used the Atrix solution, your, your company should be there. If not, click Add New Company, put in the company name and the TIN that you're filing for. You have two options for importing data. Atrix provides a template CSV file that you can find on the website. Simply complete the Atrix ACA spreadsheet with your data, and you can upload it very simply. Your other option is to simply move forward and enter the data manually as you go through the process. In this case, I have prepared an ACA spreadsheet using the Atrix template, and I will select that. You can see that the TXT file has been selected. When I click Next, it's going to begin the process. Once you have successfully uploaded the data, you will begin the company setup process. This simple ACA setup wizard will ask you a few questions that we need the answers to in order to file on your behalf. This first screen gives you the opportunity to test drive the software. You can do this with your first 25 employees or with your entire data set. There is no chance of making a mistake or accidentally filing anything. It's just an opportunity for you to get comfortable with the software before you begin your actual process. In this case, we're ready to file, so I'll click Next. We're going to verify the EIN so that we know we're filing for the right company. Many companies have more than one data file for an EIN. They might have multiple locations, multiple departments. If you have more than one data set for the EIN you are filing for, click Yes here. You'll do each one individually, and they will be merged at the end of the process. This is what will appear on the actual form that will be printed and mailed to your employees. The IRS needs to know if you are filing for your own company or if you are a third-party tax preparer. If you're a third-party tax preparer, you'll need to fill out an information form so they know who you are. In most cases, you'll be filing as a company employer. If you are, in fact, a designated government entity, you'll need to identify yourself here. You have the opportunity to truncate Social Security numbers as a security effort. You can choose your method here, or you can choose not to truncate them at all. Once you have completed the company setup, you'll fill out this. <clears throat> Once you've finished the company setup, you will put in some employer information. You'll need to identify whether you offer self-insured coverage. And do you have any employees with foreign addresses? We'll need to know the total number of Form 1095Cs submitted with this transmittal. We'll need to know that you are the authoritative transmittal for this EIN. We need to know yes or no if this is all of the employees for your EIN or ALE. We'd like to know whether or not you are required to file a state ACA submission and then identify the state for which you are filing. You'll need to complete the certifications of eligibility. In this case, we're going to use the qualified offer method. You'll notice that there were no changes during the current year, so we've used the all year category to identify the number of full-time employees and total employee count. Once you've completed this employer information, you'll click Next to move forward. We then have a short series of data verification information uh, that you'll complete. The first step is employee contact information. You'll want to verify that you have the correct names and addresses of all of the employees that you are filing for. If you offer self-insured coverage, you'll need to identify the covered individuals. You can see at the bottom that the covered individuals are listed. You'll need to identify those employees who have requested electronic delivery only and will not receive a paper copy. And the final screen here is employee coverage. You can see that it will be the months that are involved, the states that may be involved, and the coverage offer. Next, you'll select the level of service that you're looking for. The complete e-filing service is obviously the best practice. In this, Atrix will print and mail your employee copies 
as early as the next business day. Those employees who have selected electronic-only delivery will also receive information on how to view their forms. We'll file the Fed 1095Cs and 1094Cs to the IRS. We will host a copy of the 1095C for each of your employees that will be made available to them through a secure website. We'll also file any state-required 1095s and 1094s, all for one low price. You have the opportunity to purchase a PDF archive. This will include all of the copies of the 1095 and 1094s that we are filing on your behalf. We provide that as a flash drive. It will be mailed directly to the address that we have on file for your company. This is a quick review of what we are going to file on your behalf. We will be filing the federal 1095, 1094. We'll be printing and mailing the employee 1095Cs. And you'll have the ability to print the employer 1095Cs if you wish to keep them on file. You'll have the opportunity to review each of the forms that we are filing on your behalf. This is the federal 1094C. These are the 1095Cs filed to the federal government. And this is a copy of the instructions or 1095C notice. You can provide this to your employees if you wish. And finally, you can review the 1095Cs that will be mailed directly to your employees. Once you've reviewed all of the forms, you'll then log into the Atrix Secure e-file system. You'll use the credentials you created when you enrolled at efile.atrix.com. One of the nice things about these credentials is that it is the same credential no matter what you are filing. So if you're filing a W-2, a 1099, 941, unemployment, wage withholding, making a EFTPS payment, all of them will use the same credential and roughly the same process. We're going to want to verify the information we have on hand. This is the information, again, that you provided during your enrollment process. We'll verify the cost. In this case, we have 16 employees and the PDF archive and a little shipping and handling. You have the opportunity to choose your submission dates. In this case, the employee copies will be mailed as soon as possible, which is the next business day, and your federal 1095s and 1094s will be filed as soon as possible. Of course, we'll need a credit card in order to process that payment. We want to verify the PDF archive mailing address. This, again, is the address that you have provided during this filing process. One last confirmation. This says that we are filing for your company, the 1095C, the filing period that it is filed for, the company EIN, and the address of the company, and the invoice amount that you paid in order to have us process it. Once you submit this filing, you will receive an AFID number. You see here, 6169469, that's an Atrix filing identification number. It's important because if you need to follow up on any information regarding this filing, our support group will need that number in order to track the filing. This filing number will be provided to you in an email. It is also available to you if you log in at efile.atrix.com. So you don't have to scratch it out on a note and keep it in a drawer somewhere. We do provide this information for you. That's how easy it is to complete your ACA 1095 filings using the Atrix Complete ACA eFile service.